Willett, Director of Incubator Art Lab at the University of Windsor. For the next two months, my team members and I will be doing the Sundays in the Studio workshops for the EGW. Hi, my name is Dr. Jennifer Willett. I'm an artist and researcher and professor at the University of Windsor. I work in a field called bioart, and bioart is art where you use biological media or biotechnology to make artworks. So I'm really happy to be here today and to better connect uh, our research group called Incubator Art Lab uh, at the university with AGW. I think Sundays in the studio is an excellent opportunity for regular people to engage in creativity throughout the week. Uh, and so today I'm going to give a little bit of a workshop on a project that I developed during the height of the pandemic called Paper um, uh, Incubator Art Lab Paper Theater. Um, during the height of the pandemic, we were really sad. All of us were stuck at home. Uh, I'm at work today, but that wasn't possible. And uh, so my team and I came up with an idea where we wanted to make a little miniature version of our lab at the university so that we could have that at home. And we wanted it to be a workshop that people could download and do off of the internet. So today, I'm going to walk you through the process of that now. So this is uh, the final results. Uh, this is a, one of the versions that was done by Angela Wada, our technician. She's a scientist. And uh, if you follow the instructions available online, you'll be able to download all of these design pieces and then print them out onto card stock. And so what I would do is go to Staples and get yourself a piece of paper that is a little bit heavier because that way it'll hold its shape when you make the final sculpture. So. Let's get online and download the Incubator Art Lab Paper Theater Kit. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna share my screen. So let's look at the instructions online for how to build the Incubator Art Lab Paper Theater. So if you go to our website at incubatorartlab.com, you can go into projects and down to incubator events. This is where we host all the events and projects that we've worked on collaboratively in the lab. The project here is called COVID Suit Stay at Home Paper Laboratory with Dr. Jennifer Willett. This um, workshop was originally presented for Science Gallery Detroit in December 2020. So if you have a look at our webpage here, you can see that there's two places you need to download. You need to download the paper theater assembly instructions, and you need to download the paper theater template. The instructions can be printed on regular paper, whereas the template should be printed on the heavier paper. There is also a longer 20 minute video going over the project here as well. Lastly, at the bottom of the web page, you'll see some of the results from some of the students within our research group. The goal of this lab is for you not only to download and build the paper theater, but then to do some groovy sort of bioart project inside of the lab. So you wanna click download on both of these. I'll show you right here, click. And then once you get them down, you'll have these two documents. The template is the document that needs to be saved or printed on the hard, heavier paper, which is right here. And the instructions need to be printed on the lighter paper. So once you've printed out your um, paper theater sections onto regular or onto cardstock, then you can begin to decorate them. These are ones I've been working on over the summer and I've been using watercolor dual tip markers in order to make these sort of really elaborate patterns in them but they could be more simple. I'll show you some ones that my daughters were working on. Here is the facade on an eight and a half by 11 um, that my daughter worked on with stickers and some markers as well. Here's some unpainted um, facades. So what I do is I then I start to work on them. I'm thinking about things like stickers, markers, but also maybe gold leaf or something like that. And then you're gonna need to follow the instructions which will teach you how to cut them out. I highly recommend that you use an X-Acto knife. There is um, a lot of little cuts. So for example, this cut here in the instructions will tell you to cut that open. That could be done quite uh, in a complicated way without an X-Acto knife. So I highly recommend that you use an X-Acto knife just to make sure that everything cuts out as is required. So for example, this little piece here has these slots in it. 
So follow the instructions one by one, cut out the pieces and assemble them, and we'll see what you get. So as you can see here, uh, we have already cut out all of the pieces to the paper theater. And next you need to follow the step-by-step -step instructions as illustrated by Ashley on how to assemble your theater. So you wanna cut out the pieces and fold and cut them as needed um, in order to build the theater. We start off with building the structural floor of the theater that will support the weight of the theater. Uh, and then we start moving into assembling and attaching the walls to the lab slash theater. There we go, they're starting to fit together. Now we're starting to work on the ceiling. Here you can see we made some small accoutrement like the little lab workbench that we have in the center of our lab. Here is the chandelier. Anyone who's been to our lab in the School of Creative Arts knows that we have a chandelier in the center of our lab. And then here is the ridiculous paper theater facade that we added to the front. So if you follow these step-by-step -step instructions, it should take you about an hour to two hours to finish assembling the theater. So if all goes well, you'll get this beautiful sort of sculpture of a laboratory that is also a theater made out of paper. And from there, you can play little people with it. Or if you want, you can try some bio art experiments like we talk about on the website. You could try pouring yogurt into it. Or I had a, someone put peanut butter in there and let their dog lick it out. A number of my students have left it outside and put bird seed in it so that other animals will enjoy the paper theater as well. That's it. Thanks for joining me.